Friday. Welcome to the three things I learned in SaaS sports tech and live events for October 2nd, 2020. We're already in Q4. Number one, imposter syndrome is ravaging people right now when they're looking for new jobs and it's really hard to watch. Uh, the same thing happens with first time CEOs, it happened with me. They tend to get bullied by the people around them, whether it's money people or operators who have done this before. Really lean on the Steve Jobs quote that everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. And the sooner you learn that you can change it and you can influence it, you'll never be the same again. Personally, I've had two really hard bouts with imposter syndrome, one in 2012 when our business was growing and we had to pick a leader out of the three of us, and then again in 2018 when we were about to sell the business. And there's a temptation in those moments to do the safe thing, to side with the board or to side with your boss. Please don't do that. You know, the more time we spend with people that we've been blessed to get to know, other CEOs of companies of all sizes, you would be surprised. We talk all the time, every week, about minor decisions that we text back and forth about and talk about. We're just figuring it out too. We don't believe that we're imposters because we know that we have people who invested in us, just like people invested in you. You have the job for a reason, you have the degree for a reason, you have the experience for a reason. Let imposter syndrome babble on the way out the door. Focus on you and get to work, that's number one. Number two, know what's you and know what is the brand. You know, right now we're seeing a lot of executives that are leaving their jobs and one of the hard things to watch is when they realize that their Rolodex isn't as deep as they thought. That a lot of the phone calls they were making and the connections they were getting were because of the brand that's behind them as opposed to who they were. Unfortunately, posting a win, like a new sponsorship deal, you know, or something on the tech side, gets a bazillion likes. That's more about the brand than it is the person. The depth matters. You know, those numbers are just empty calories. The ones who are still there are the ones who really matter. Those are your ride or die. And I learned that when I left StubHub at a relatively young age. It was really easy for me to get phone calls answered. It was really easy to, for me to get meetings. That went away awfully quick, and I touched on that in the three things about a year ago. If you're an exec at a splashy tech company or a sports team, just be aware that this is a big time trap. It's really hard because a lot of times people leave and think they're going to leverage that Rolodex in their next job, and it doesn't follow them. It's really important that we understand what's us, and it's really important we understand what's the brand. That's number two. Number three, a personal one. Happy birthday, ticket manager. It's been 13 years already since we sat down with very little in our bank account and tried to set off on our own. Uh, we haven't traveled since we started these videos, which was one of the ideas of the videos. It would have been really neat to have you know videos from all the different things we did, the 16 city and 14 day 21 team tour we did in 2009, the multiple masters, the Super Bowls, the Sundances, the national championships, the conferences, the concerts, the iconic games, the award shows, all the road trips and so much travel. I did an awful job of documenting it with pictures and video, learn from my mistakes. I couldn't even find a good picture to use of our first day, our first office, our first sale or our first client when I did our birthday announcement this week. I remember it all like it was yesterday. I tell the stories all the time. I know all the faces, Lynn, Claire, Steve, Jay, Steve S, Sean, all the people who believe in us. The number of photos I have of all of us, nearly none. It was a different time. We didn't have cameras on phones, but learn from my mistake. Make sure you chronicle the whole thing. It will be worth it. That's it for the three things. We'll catch you guys next week.